Hello everybody, my name is Slowpace, and welcome back to the video, and today guys, I'm going to tell you how to get a free Minecraft server. If you do enjoy this video, remember to leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel, I really appreciate that. Now, I do want to say as well that you can give your friends this IP as well. Basically, you can give this IP to anybody, and yeah, they basically, they can't hack you when you uh, give them this IP. It is totally safe to use, Now it is free as well. Anyway, the link is in the description down below, so go over to the website, and here is the website right here, we're doing Mine HUD right now. This is the server hosting day, and it is for totally free. Uh, there's no no queue system anyway actually they've got a bunch of people using it as you can see right there so it's totally safe i've used it everything like that anyway all you got to do is sign up or if you've got an account you can just log in but most of you are going to be signed up to this website basically you want to put your email make a password uh, do your date of birth and all that type of cool stuff then just click i agree basically i've already got an account so i'm actually just going to log in and uh, basically that is that now once you have signed up basically all you got to do is click on create server and you should get a menu similar to this if you can't find it all you got to do is go over to your dashboard once you go to your dashboard you can click on here create servers actually i've already got a server actually see right here and i don't use it i don't know how to delete it it won't let me delete it for some reason but anyway i've got my server right there i'm gonna click up here create a new server and up here just put your name in so put any name you want for your server basically this is your ip your minecraft server so i'm gonna call this say slow there we are i got slow and create that and this name is already in use so i've got to use something different basically i've just called it razor hd that is my old gamer tag and yeah i just use that instead and that's already in use as well bro we've got to find a really good name here i'm gonna put a few numbers on the end of this They're basically as you can see it's, i think now it's create my server actually i've got it just down here just forget this one here is here because this one here is an old thing i did so this, this is my server right here now what you gotta do is activate it just like that you gotta wait 30 seconds and you can watch a video here as well it's just an ad anyway you can see here i've got 20 seconds left and it is starting i see i've got a few seconds left now and it should start any second right here continue click on that i see now my server is actually going basically now you can actually just start playing the minecraft server if you want to all you got to do is grab this name here just like this basically this is your ip to join this is what you give your friends to join the minecraft server so copy that this is what you need anyway now if you go over to minecraft now once you come over to minecraft all you got to do is click on multiplayer and add server then you can just add the ip just like that basically here it is just here basically now you can come on here and play with your friends just give your friends this ip and up to 10 players can actually play on the server basically i'm here right now actually i think it works pretty good it's actually pretty good for what it is and it is free so yeah it's very good for a minecraft server if you guys want to know how to do more options like add plugins and stuff like that upload your own world i'm going to show you guys how to do that next anyway come back over to your server right now actually i've got one player on there and that's me right now and yeah, your server it lasts a little while i'm not sure when it shuts down but it shuts down after around about half an hour i think of if no one's on there basically you can do a message of the day you can put that in there if you want to you can do commands here so basically if you do opt then your minecraft gamer tag um so basically just like this if i can get it all in there basically if i type that in just like that and click send now if you go back over to your minecraft now i should be opt in minecraft so basically i can go into you know creative mode and all that type of cool stuff now in creative mode because you need people to be opt to actually do this uh so yeah basically that is how you do that there you go. come back over to the servers now i see if you want to change your picture this will cost you money you can put your server invisible or not invisible because basically if you want people to see your server or not uh i'll just click uh, that one just keep it on that and no one else can see it but only your friends that have the ip can see that anyway we've got another option here we've got the market we've got the shop which we don't really need those actually we don't need anything on the side menu there it's all up here so click on the settings right now and here you can change everything in here you've got the uh level type so default uh you've got the max players so you can actually only put it up to 10 players but you can lower it if you want to uh you can change the world name uh you can do the game mode you can do a bunch of stuff in here pvp is on monster spawning animal spawning difficulties on easy you can put that to normal it's safe there's a bunch of stuff here you can just go through and uh, you know you can do this yourselves basically it's pretty simple stuff go up here to plugins if you want to add plugins you actually need to uh, actually install different sort of jar file we i think we've got a normal Sevilla jar file at the moment so if you click install you've got nothing installed at the moment as you can see there's no plugins installed but we'll check that out in a second click on file manager i you come over here as you see we've got a plugins folder just here i think we've already got a maybe a jar proper jar file installed yeah they installed a paper jar i think it is uh which i don't really use that much uh actually spigot just down there spigot and uh yeah so they didn't install a normal server they installed a uh spigot server basically we can install plugins on this server but we'll check that out in a second though no. Click on world you can actually change save your world here you can uh, reset your world you can upload your own world like i've got no worlds to upload you can change the world seed the world seed just there backups you can do backups on the server you can save the server um, you can do you know, create backups and all that type of cool stuff 
And on Danger Zone, you've got a bunch of other stuff like this as well, which you don't really need to check this stuff out. You never need to touch this stuff over here. Anyways, click on plugins. We want to install plugins. So you want to click on a plugin you want. I want to find a plugin I want. So if I hop down here further, uh, auto pick up, why not? I click install plugin just there. Now this plugin will take a little bit to install. As you see, now it has installed. I've got a little check bar just there. And you have to reload uh, your server just like this, restart your server for the plugin to take effect. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to install plugins. So I'm actually going to come back down here and click remove plugin just like that. If you guys don't want to use this menu here to install plugins, you can come back over to file manager, go down to your plugins, and you can just upload plugins you've got on your computer. Say you've got like a bunch of plugins on your computer you want to upload. So click on plus folder, you can make a folder there, or you can click on um, upload files just there. That is the one you want to click on. And you can upload your plugins from in here. That is a different option you can do. Uh, sorry, I am going quite fast because there's quite a few things to cover on this video. That's why I'm talking quite fast on this. But hopefully you guys can actually understand what I'm doing. If you don't understand anything I'm doing, just go back through the video and watch it back through. Maybe put it on slow mode as well if you don't know what's going on. And if you guys need any more help at all, come and join my Discord server. Basically, I will help you on there. I've got a help section on there. You'll get help from me and even from my staff team as well. You should get help from there. Now, sadly, you cannot um, actually upload mods to this. This is just for plugins. But yeah, there's no mods available for the server hosting. Basically, for the cracked users out there, I'm, I'm very sorry. This server does not support cracked Minecraft. This is only for premium Minecraft only. So if you have a cracked Minecraft account, this is not going to work for you. Minehut don't actually uh, support cracked at all. So yeah, cracked is not going to work on Minehut. Basically, this is it for this video, guys. If you guys want more in-depth video, that you can click that eye up there on screen. If there's no eye up there on screen, you can click a link in the first question down below. There's an in more depth video on how to use this server hosting. But anyway, guys, this is it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like. Hit that subscribe button if you are new to this channel. I really appreciate that. I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.